And man can be programmed, as I was telling you just now. You can be programmed into anything. Do you know that? Then why put into the test? During an informal question and answer session after the pre kutba talk, a young Muslim student asked Sheikh Didat regarding his conversation with his non-Muslim lecturer about religion. So, why, why would he test you in the first place? Why does he just immediately... If God already knows everything, why does God need to create this world to test mankind? Let the good Sheikh explain. Yes, yes. Right. 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 Now, why would he test me if he knows the result? Right. So, why why would he test you in the first place? Why does he just immediately, when you're created, you don't have a good he said, let's say you, sir, you are the director of the university. This is your son, you know, his son is 7, 8, and your son is brilliant. You know, he is fit to get a metric certificate. Can you give it to him? You know your son will pass with flying colors. You are a rector of the university. Can you give him a certificate without the exam? Why? He's got to prove to himself that he's done the job. This is now for your benefit, for our benefit that you are going through the process and you pass the exam. Same thing for an example for others. See, there's no easy way. There's no taking of a pill, following a pill. God knows. So you know your destination in heaven. Before you were created, he could have put you in hell. I'll put you in heaven. What the hell are you doing here? Islam explains that this worldly life is only a test for humankind. In the Quran, chapter 67, verse 2, God says, It is he, God who created death and life to test you as to which of you is best indeed. God is the most fair and the most just. Therefore, our fate in the hereafter, after our hearing in the great court of God, would be unquestionably fair and just. But if there is no worldly life to proof our actions, it is us who would be the first to complain of injustice, especially if we were punished while never having done the accused horrendous actions. Regardless, however, People are often quick to claim injustice if there is a threat of punishment over their own misconduct, but never questions whether or not they deserve wondrous rewards for their actions. What price do we have to pay to enter paradise? What have we done to deserve eternal bliss? Certainly the reward of eternal happiness outweighs the price of only decades of obedience and good conduct. No, he would have been in hell or heaven. He knows eventually we will be. You deserve hell. So before your birth, put in hell, your roof in hell, and you in heaven. And I'm told, there's no need for this earth at all. There's no need for anything. Hazrat Ibrahim alayhi salam. The example is that of Hazrat Ibrahim alayhi salam. Allah says that this sacrificing his son was a test from Allah. And Allah knew whether he's going to pass or he's going to fail. So why test the man? Same question. Why test the man? You know he will fail or not. What do you want to test me for? See, if you... Imran here, he knows me from when he was a little boy. If he needs 10 runs, he thinks if uncle is around, if I got it, if uncle, hey, can you lend me 10 runs? Take it myself. He wants 50 runs. If uncle, can I have 50 runs? Is he testing me? No. But if he's not sure whether, you know, I will help him or then he wants to try me out once in a while to see that whether uncle will, if I need it, if I need it, will he? So he says, uncle, I need 10 runs, but I need 50 runs. So he tested me out for the future. Then after a couple of days he returned and said, thank you very much. But he was testing me. So Allah doesn't need that. He knows whether as Ibrahim is a fail or is a see. Then why put him to the test? Now in his case, you see, human sacrifice was prevalent in his environment. People used to sacrifice their own sons and their own daughters. And man can be programmed, as I was telling you just now. You can be programmed into anything. Do you know that? This is, man, the most valuable thing you have, the Eskimos. What is it? Your wife. And when I visit you, then you're going to put her out of the way. Huh? You're going to give me tea, cake. What does it cost? Huh? But the most valuable thing you have, your wife. Where are you putting her? Out of the way. He said, look, man, 
the most valuable thing I have is my wife. I'm offering it to you. Prove that. Brainwashed. He believes sincerely that the greatest hospitality he can show to you is to offer his wife to you. Program. You can be programmed into anything. Sati. The women were immolating themselves in the funeral pyre of the husband. Why? Everybody works you up this morning. You love your husband? Yes, I love my husband. He said, I'm your husband is gone. What the hell are you doing there? Maybe you got another blow. Prove you. Prove you one. So the poor thing. She's gone. I want to you know that. Brainwashing. Man can be brainwashed into anything. So the people were brainwashed into sacrificing. Human sacrifice. Your own son, man. The most valuable thing I have is my child. I'm prepared to sacrifice for a boy. Since, since. What greater sincerity is that? Can a person show? Your own child, your own son or daughter. No, no, program, brainwashing. So the people were brainwashed. Human sacrifice was prevalent. So God would say, hey, no, no. <laughs> Doesn't make sense. So this is an a scene, a drama. Now, Abraham, go through this. Hmm, 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 one dream. Again, another dream. You know, it can't be, this must be serious. If you know, Allah wants it. So what do you say, my son? The son says, my father is. If Allah wants it this way, I'm prepared to admit it. And at the critical moment, Allah says, no. It needs no flesh. Not of a man or an animal. What he needs is your willingness. So that's a lesson. He will learn that he wants your willingness. I'm prepared to sacrifice. This was a test. He passed the test. So as an object lesson for others, God needs no sacrifice, no blood. Not of a lamb, or of an innocent man, or a guilty man, no blood. So, this is for our, for our own spiritual development. If you enjoy this video, please like and subscribe to Islamica to support our efforts. Thank you.